So thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, give the video a share if you enjoyed, if you felt it was useful. Now let's get into this. So Ryan Garcia knocks out Francesco Fonessa, I think is how you pronounce it. Fonessa, Fonesca, I think is how you pronounce it. Anyway, he knocked him out in a round. Now, Ryan Garcia, young golden boy prospect, 21 years old, now 20 and all with 17 knockouts. I watched this fight this morning. Now, it didn't last long. It lasted all of 80 seconds. But watching the fight, I realized that I actually hadn't done any videos on my channel about Ryan Garcia. And I actually rate Ryan Garcia quite highly as a prospect. You know, he's shown to have, you know, some decent punching power. Now he's shown to be, you know, tough because he had a tough fight there against that Carlos Morales guy there back at the end of 2018. And that was a tough fight. Since then, he's been, you know, pretty much knocking the KOs like clockwork. So back to back first round knockouts, he had a second round stoppage over a guy called Jose Lopez. And the latest he's gone prior to that was a fifth round stoppage. So Garcia has been looking good as of late, you know, he is flashy, he can punch a bit, definitely. And this guy he beat, Francesco Fonessa. I think I'm probably saying the name wrong. He's a 25 year old Nicaraguan. Now he's only had three losses. All those losses, well, prior to this, one of them was against Tevin Farmer. Went the distance with Tevin Farmer. That was for the IBF uh, Super Featherweight title. So he was moving up to fight Ryan Garcia. It had to be said. Because this guy had campaigned at Featherweight. So, he, or Super Featherweight, I should say. So he moved up to fight Ryan Garcia. And obviously, prior to that, he fought Tevin Farmer. He also lost eight round knockout to Javante Davis. That was on the undercard of Mayweather McGregor. And Davis, Tank Davis, did not look good in that fight. And if I remember, actually, now I could be wrong, it might have been a different fight. But I think the punch that actually stopped him was a punch around the back of the head. Now, I could be wrong about that, but I think that was what actually stopped him. So, you know, he's been in there with good company. He's gone rounds with good company, you know. And for Ryan Garcia to come in and do a job like that, it's pretty impressive. You know, it has to be said. It's good going from Garcia. If you watch the fight, you'll see Garcia has some speed. He's explosive. So he looks like he's, you know, he looks like someone who's definitely one to watch. The left hook, the lead left hook, was bothering his opponent in this fight. Because he caught Vanessa with one shot early on before the knockdown. And to be fair, he was off balance. But he definitely seemed to be shaken to his boots. Definitely. And then obviously the, the knockout came. Lead left hook. Straight down. Opponent wasn't getting up. Referee waved it off. Hell of a knockout. Ryan Garcia looking explosive. You know, Canelo is, you know, heavily backing Ryan Garcia. We've seen Canelo, you know speak English to Ryan Garcia, you know, giving him compliments, all this, so, Garcia definitely want to watch, they said they want Tank Davis next, or by the end of the year, <sighs> no one Tank Davis, well, Tank Davis, I mean, oh boy, <laughs> he's all kinds of fucked up, that guy, um, I'd like to see that fight, but Tank Davis has issues, it's fair to say, you know, outside the ring, Tank Davis is with Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather, and, They've been unwilling. Well, they were unwilling to make Lomachenko versus Tank Davis. You know when Lomachenko had titles at one hundred and thirty pounds. So I don't know what they'd be willing to make this fight. I don't know. I'd love to see it. I'd actually probably pick Ryan Garcia to beat Tank Davis. Even though I rate Tank Davis, I think Ryan Garcia is one to watch. I think he's very good. And I think it's his time to shine. So I'd love to see him against Tank Davis. But the problem is, again, Al Heyman likes to keep all these things in house. So. You know, the likelihood of getting that fight, I can't see it unless Ryan Garcia is a mandatory. And then I may be able to see it, but for now, can't see it. Can't see him getting the Tank Davis fight, which is a shame because I would love to see Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis. Jorge Linares fought on this undercard, so probably that's the route they're going to go next. Maybe take the Linares fight and that maybe that's a cash out fight for Jorge Linares. So, you know, those are my thoughts on this. Like I said, quick little video here, just giving my two cents on it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, of course, if you are new. And as always, I will talk to you after.